Our topic in the Sage Pastel Accounting lesson is bank reconciliation and internal control. A common question asked in accounting exams is, why should a business do a bank reconciliation every month? Consider this question while you listen to the following information. South African companies are worried about the increase in white-collar crimes as well as blue-collar crimes. Now what is meant by a white-collar crime? White-collar crimes can be defined as sophisticated crimes committed by managing personnel. It is most commonly fraud committed by management who have access to the books of the company. And blue-collar crime in a company would more often be theft of stock or vandalism. The management of any business or organization is responsible for implementing and establishing effective control and auditing processes that safeguard the assets of a business and prevent fraud. All aspects of accounting are subject to internal auditing and control measures, ethics and general accounting standards. Internal control processes include regulations such as all incomes received must be properly recorded. All the accounting records must be accurate and reliable. All expenditure must be authorised and entered accurately. Division of duties and proper documentation and authorisation. One important control measure is the appointment of the internal and external auditor. Both play an important role in the organization's internal financial controls. Let's look first at the function of an internal auditor. An internal auditor executes an objective assessment regarding the effectiveness of the control processes within the business. They would be instrumental in setting up processes, maintaining these processes and continuously evaluating the processes. If they found loopholes within the existing processes, they would set up new processes to tighten security. The internal auditor makes sure that the internal control processes of a business run smoothly. What then is the function of an external auditor? An external auditor is an independent person expressing their objective opinion regarding the reliability of the company's financial statements. They usually only come in at the end of the year to audit the company's financial statements, but may be called in if problems occur. The external auditor should also be concerned with the quality of the internal control of a business. Proper internal control will result in reliable and just financial statements drafted for the business, which means the external auditor would be able to give an unqualified audit report as an audit opinion that says everything is satisfactory in the books of this business. Now let's look at a situation where the role of an internal auditor is called upon. Park Traders employs Will Crook to write up the books, do the bank deposits and issue cheques. As internal auditor of Park Traders, you've noticed that both the April and May 2015 bank reconciliations reflect very large outstanding deposits. Your investigation into this matter shows that most of these amounts were in fact received by Mr. Crook before the date on the bank statement. As an internal auditor, why should you be concerned? Well, any deposit should appear promptly on the bank statement. Over two whole months, dishonoured checks or checks with errors should have been identified and rectified with the bank. It is likely that fraud could be involved or rolling of cash by Mr. Crook. As internal auditor, what steps would you recommend be taken against Mr. Will Crook? These are some important points. Set up a disciplinary hearing for Mr. Crook to answer to the allegations. Institute legal action against him if the costs of the legal action are likely to be less than the amount recoverable. 
suspend Mr. Crook pending the investigation or move him to another department. Lay a charge against Mr. Crook at the police station and get a case number. But now the story gets more interesting. Before action can be taken against Mr. Crook, he disappears. It appears that park traders will not be able to recover all amounts or part of the amounts lost due to the fraudulent activities of Mr. Will Crook. As internal auditor, you've decided to write off the amounts. What will you recommend to the business? Firstly, you would recommend that we apply the GARP rule of prudence. The business must regard this transaction in a pessimistic light as there is no certainty that any amounts will be recovered. You would also make recommendations with regard to tightening the internal control. Since Will Crook was responsible for all the vital activities relating to receipts, deposits and payments, you would recommend a division of duties. You would implement tighter supervision and ensure that signatories on checks are acting responsibly. Let's return to our original question. Why should a business do a bank reconciliation every month? We've said that the internal control and auditing processes in a business are implemented to safeguard the business's assets. Well, the bank reconciliation process is an important control measure specifically to safeguard the asset of cash by comparing our internal records to the external records of a business we are creating an internal control to identify errors omissions and dishonesty at an early stage thus minimizing the possibility of fraud time now to test what you have learned in this lesson you do. Remember, the only way to do better is practice, practice, 